The bees have a different perspective of this thing that we beekeepers call the nectar flow, the pollen flow. We're always concerned about pollination and getting our fruits and vegetables and our strawberries and cantaloupes. And in reality, from the bees' perspective, they really didn't have a lot of concern for meeting our needs. They were trying to meet their needs. So this relationship they have with the plants that provide food for them is completely different than what we would expect. We get our best nectar flows from the plants you can readily see. Clover, tulip poplar, those kind of plants really do a nice job. The more obscure plants are certainly helpful, but they're not the ones that produce the nice honey crops that we see coming in. When these bees bring back this nectar, they've got to have a place to store it. And so if they don't have old comb, they'll make this really nice white comb and they'll store their nectar and their pollen in that and then reuse it as, uh, as long as they can before it gets destroyed by something else. So there's a lot of activity going on. The bees are out there finding anything they can, anywhere they can. And if we're lucky, they'll make a really nice surplus crop. It's kind of crazy from the bees' perspective because they're never going to use that much honey. But it's what they do in respect to our stimulus to encourage them to do that. Flow is primarily in three major parts, the spring and the fall are the major times. Some places there may be some things in the summer and there may be some activity in early, early spring and really, really late fall. But more often than not, the most of the activity, most of the surplus honey that we collect is going to come from the spring flow, the earliest Flowers are pretty much inconsequential in most cases, but they stimulate the bees. But fruit bloom is the big bang. That's what really gets the season started in much of the country. You never hear about apple honey or pear honey because the bees use those early sources as, uh, as sources to make bees. See the bright red pollen there because they're bringing in whatever they can find. So they're not just specializing in one area. They'll work on everything. As the season progresses, on this hibiscus plant here in my, in my yard, it's a showy flower and the bees are there. They'll work, uh, they'll work whatever's available anytime that's out there. So their only function in life really is to go out there and find that food. Without food all the time at home, there's really no future for them. Food collection, food storage is absolutely everything. The season really never stops as far as the warm season producing pollen and nectar. There's good times and bad times, but basically there's something happening much of the time. I think the fall flow is probably the desperate season. For this particular colony that I've shown you, if they don't have food laid by for the winter now, if they don't have food laid by for a week or two or three of dearths, they're going to be in serious trouble. They are extremely competitive and aggressive and they'll work whatever they can work. These fall flowers are the last shot. In most cases, these fall asters give off a peculiar odor that's very characteristic. So this dark honey with the strong odor that the bees produce in most, in many cases, uh, beekeepers tend to leave it for the bees themselves to have as winter stores. So it's, uh, it's a very valuable product to the bees and nothing is wrong with its nutritive value. We just don't find it as human consumers to be as delectable. So what these bees have done all year long, all season long, what they fought for, collected for, even if they had to rob each other, whatever it takes to get enough food for their colony to withstand something like this. The winter season you have may look different, but if they don't have something to eat right now, nothing else matters, not a thing. Not quality of queens, whatever. They have to have food to survive, and they collect it anywhere they can find it, as much as they can find.